Aloha and welcome to Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We're a show that broadcasts every Thursday from 2 to 2.30 in the ThinkTech studios in beautiful downtown Honolulu in the Pioneer Plaza. And if you're looking for us, we're on the eighth floor, Suite 888. Uh, we've got a very high-tech group of uh, equipment here as well as uh, individuals. Uh, we've got uh, some of the state-of-the-art technology and we're uh, putting it to good use. Uh, Business in Hawaii is a show that focuses on successful stories in Hawaii uh, of the owners and the businesses as well as the groups that support the small business community in Hawaii. Today we've got a, a guest that's been here on the show before, um, very popular. Uh, it's the Chamber of the Maui Chamber of Commerce, uh, Pam, uh, and she's going to come and tell us all about what's going on on Maui. And there's a lot going on over there these days. <laughs> Thank you, Rich. There is. Uh, Great now, to be here. It's great to have you back. Thank now, you. And we should probably evolve this into like a quarterly event of some sort, you know, <laughs> because you've got so much to talk about and there's so much going on. But before we jump into that, can you give us a, a little history about yourself in the, in the Maui Chamber and tell us, uh, you know, they've been around for a while. The Maui Chamber of Commerce has been around since 1910. Wow. We are the second oldest Chamber of Commerce after the Chamber of Commerce of Hawaii in the state of Hawaii. And we actually, though, preceded the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Wow, very good. So we've been around for a very long time, business leaders supporting other business leaders in the Maui community. Well, and I think everybody knows that, that Maui is pretty much the second economic uh, center for Hawaii. There's a lot going There's on. There's a there. lot going on on Maui, and, and you know, we of course we always say Maui no Kauai. We're very proud of what we've got going on, Absolutely. and lots of innovation at all times. Um, as I'm here today, there's an energy conference going on in Maui right now today. Well, and that's very appropriate for it to be going on. We need the energy, and, and we need to drop the cost of that energy <laughs> down a little bit. So exactly. From what I understand, we just got a little bump in our rates here, and uh, we need yeah. to start addressing that. Yes. But now, and, and you've been involved with the, the Maui Chamber yourself personally for quite a while, too, haven't you? You know, I have a long history with the Maui Chamber of Commerce, even before I became president. So I've, uh, I started my career in my 20s with the Maui Economic Development Board, was a vice president there uh, after working there for 11 years, and then went on to be director of marketing for Oceanic Time Warner Cable, where I still served and, and participated in activities for the chamber, and then went on to run Maui United Way, and wow. then went back to, you know, again, Maui United Way was more of a... Um, Social, obviously, social services nonprofit and helping the community, but went back into sort of a hybrid. Uh, uh, the chamber's a nonprofit, so I'm still in the nonprofit world, but also very business oriented. So I kind of have my feet in both passions. Mm -hmm. And uh, this April, I will have been there now for 11 years. 11 years with the Maui Chamber, and how many years as the CEO? Uh, 11, 11 years. years. <laughs> All of that time. So that, that's a record, I think. Uh, I think it, it's going to be the record for Maui. <laughs> and um, right now I am the, the president currently, have the longest standing um, position as president in the chamber system for the main chambers across the islands right in, now. In the islands. So you're truly a Maui girl then. You, you've been there for a long time. I have. I was brought there as a teenager in 1981, and I've stayed ever since. Very good. Thank you. And you've also got a, not, a little bit of an entrepreneurial streak in you too, right? <laughs> <laughs> in addition to running the chamber, I have a couple of side businesses. Um, well, first I should mention that my fiancé has a company called Island Landscape that he, mm. he and I built together, um, but he owns that company, and it's a landscape construction company, so we do that in our household, and I often do, I do his accounting and books and some of his mm. reporting and things like that. And then I have a bedding line that I created to help some of the women sewers. I was trying to partner two companies together, um, and their partnership fell apart, and the women sewers needed some projects. So we created a bedding line company, and um, that keeps some of our Maui ladies sewing. And recently, we're working on a gift basket and gift box company. And in addition, we're developing a botanical garden nursery and farm. Well, you know, it sounds like you've got the perfect set of credentials to be running <laughs> the Maui Chamber. I mean, you, you really know how to provide the services to the membership. Thank you. Well, you know, it, it, I, I would like to say that um, it takes a team effort. And, you know, I, I'm very proud of our team. We have a wonderful board of directors. We also have a great staff with Kailea Moikeha, who's been with me for several years, and Amber, who's uh, been with me for over a year, Amber Kutsos. And, 
And, you know, really, when I'm out with you today and doing the business development side of things and working on programs and partnerships, they're back in the office holding down the fort, doing all the grunt work and detail work that it takes to make all these things happen. So it's when you have a big group of volunteers and you have a committed board and you've got a committed staff that um, you can really take things to a no new heights. And, and you mentioned volunteers. I mean, there's, there's always going to be a need for volunteers, uh, i.e. more membership. And so yes. you're looking to grow members membership on the, the Maui Chamber? Thank you. We're always looking to grow <laughs> membership in the Maui Chamber of Commerce. Um, and, and um, you know, what most people don't realize, and some people still don't even know we exist on Maui, which is tragic. We keep wow. trying to uh, rectify that. But what most people don't realize is how affordable chamber membership is. So chamber membership starts at just $344 a year. So that's really about the size of, uh, I mean, the cost of one business card size ad in the local mm -hmm. newspaper. Mm -hmm. And that gives you so many advantages. And like many chambers, we do a fair share investment. So that means that when the company's a member, so are all their employees. So we encourage companies, make sure you're sending your sales team, your mm -hmm. marketing team, your financial people, make sure you're networking with other business members because that is some of the best leverage but of course we also have great discounts that are afforded to all chamber members and great education and training programs and and business to business and business to consumer opportunities you know i'm a firm believer that you get out of something what you put exactly. into it and once you join an organization like the maui chamber you really need to start getting engaged and you can really start to multiply the impact by getting your people involved and getting them engaged as well and, and going out and doing that networking and going to different events. I mean, that's that's one of the better ways, from my experience, that you can actually build a business. You're, ab you're absolutely right. And you're one of the people, Reg, that I, I always say walks the talk. You believe it and you do it and you're passionate about it and you're engaged in every organization you're a part of and you make amazing, thing hap amazing things happen. And, and it's true. Uh, the more a business and the business owners and their employees get engaged, their, their knowledge goes up, their training goes up, their network goes up, sales become easier, we have affordable advertising methods, but they build relationships and partnerships and they're seen differently in the community as well. People honor and respect them and they're top of mind. So yeah. when somebody's looking to do business with somebody else, who do they think of first? It's their chamber membership. It's the one they see the most often. The that's one right. that they're familiar and comfortable with. You know, that's for sure. I'll, I'll tell you a funny story real quickly is um, we had a chamber member who I hadn't seen for many years. Their membership fell by the wayside. And I was helping three families get painting done for their houses. This was just on the side, not related to the chamber. But, of course, I'm referring them to chamber member painters. And in walked this former member. And I had it didn't even occur to me mm -hmm. to have them get a quote from him because I just hadn't seen him in such a long time. So you, you are, of course, referring to the people who are top of mind and that you see. Well, and that's just normal. I mean, that's, that's, that's just the way it works. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, yeah. You know, and sometimes, you know, you may be having a conversation in the afternoon and then you go to an event in the uh, evening <laughs> and all of a sudden you start connecting the dots and it starts all coming together. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great, I love doing business. And a real quick story, I had a, a company that I started with one person. Yes. And in, within 12 years I had over 200 employees and we were wow. doing 7,000 re tax returns. We were the second, third largest payroll company in town, blah, blah, all this stuff. And it was done predominantly through chamber membership. Yes, what it's a just great story. Going out and engaging and getting involved, and not only me, but my managers. And, the, and as the company grew, I got more and more people involved. And yeah. it just, it, it was a, for me, a, a very low cost way of building a business. And I didn't have right. to spend the tens of thousands of dollars with the ads right. that some people don't even look at. That's true. And I met you through the chamber. Yeah, well, that's how we yeah. met. <laughs> That's through right. your great yeah, involvement. It's, you know, so it's it's a it's a great place to go, and, and for three hundred and forty four dollars, or or even if you have a little bit larger company with a little bit higher fee, I mean, it's well worth that cost as long as you put the effort into it. Absolutely, and and you know nowadays too, more and more chamber organizations, including ours, offer other discounts. So discounts on you know uh, to um, on your buying power, like through other major corporations, mm -hmm. Office Max, Office Depot. We can get you computer discounts. We can get you marketing discounts. So the other thing is we have a whole package. 
Right, like a member-to-member -member type of... Member-to-member -member yeah. discounts and also affiliate program discounts. Mm. So mm -hmm. major programs that we've been working on over the past year that really can offset the complete cost of membership to the degree that you use well, them. Let me ask the question. How much does it cost to paint a house? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, it depends on the size of the house. Let's start there. And the complexity of the house, since I just helped three people do it. So uh, one house was very simple. And one person, the per we got the person... Um, a lower rate, but the first quote they had was ten thousand okay. dollars. We were able to help them get that done for seven. The other person's quote was twenty-five thousand. Bigger, much more complex house, five different roof lines, things like that. So there's a yeah. lot of it depends more on your windows, course, and yeah, yeah. But gives but, you but scale the point a little is, bit. Let's just say a ten thousand dollar job. If you were doing a member to member exactly. an affiliate program, and you can get ten percent off, you just saved a thousand dollars. That's right, and that's. That's right. Double your membership. That's right. And and again, this might be for your home, not necessarily your business. Could be for your business, could be for oh. your home. But it's the relationships you build that really impact every area of your life. Right. Now it's a, it's a great organization. And if somebody wanted to find out more information about how to join or what the events are or what's going on with the chamber, how can they do that? I'm going to give you two quick ways. Okay. First, you can go to www.mauichamber.com. And that was just on the screen in case you didn't Oh, notice. I did it. Yeah, I did it. That was how awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and second, you can call my amazing team at 808-244-0081. 0081. All right. Very good. And they go to the, the Chamber website or they call that number and then they can be told uh, you know how to get the application form. And, it's really and easy. There's a join, join Now button. You can join us right away. You can learn more about our programs, our benefits. You can, from the, the front page on the website, you can find out about our events and our cal uh, calendar of events and sign up for different things. We have an electronic registration system. Um, you can also learn about the, the topical programs and upcoming activities Which and partnerships we're involved in. Which is very valuable, and a lot of them are very low cost to go and participate in. Absolutely. You know, and I guess if there was chamber committees that they want to get involved in, there might be a way to do that too, Absolutely. Right? There's a list of our committees under the membership tab, mm -hmm. and you can find out about those, and we are always looking for new volunteers. Yeah. And that, that's uh, another way to really get engaged and involved and really meet the, the movers and shakers in the business community yes. on Maui is to get involved with some of these committees and and participate. And it's you establish yourself, you, you get a, a network, people start recognizing who you are. It, it really builds up the credibility. It does. It does. And, and there's even been a Shapiro study that talks about, again, uh, most chambers offer you some sort of window decal or something to put mm -hmm. on your business that says you're a chamber member. You have increased favorability and credibility automatically by having that logo. People yeah. understand the chamber system. And that, that's something that's invaluable, lo worth a lot more than a few hundred dollars a year. That's right. Now, we just finished the first half of the show. We're going to go into the second half here shortly after a short break. And I hope we have enough time to cover all the different events that you've got coming up here in the next few months. So, but this we is, might. I hope so. This is Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. Uh, we're here with the Maui Chamber of Commerce, Pam, and who is explaining to us all of the events that are going on out at, uh, on Maui. Uh, and we'll be right back after a 60 second break. I'm Carol Mon Lee, and I want to welcome you to our newest series called Education Matters where we will explore education-related topics that touch everyone, not just formal programs in K-12 and higher education, but also broader issues and information that affect our community. Aloha, my name is Richard Emery, and I host Condo Insider. We talk about issues facing the Condo Association throughout Hawaii and talk about solutions. When you think about it, about one-third of our population lives in some form of common interest real estate. We broadcast every Thursday at 3 p.m. Please tune in. Tune in and thank you. Aloha. Hi, I'm Cheryl Crozier Garcia, the host of Working Together on Think Tech Hawaii. Join us every other Tuesday from 4 p.m. to 4.30 when we discuss the impact of change on employees, employers, and the economy. Aloha, and welcome back to Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. 
Uh, this week, we're talking with the Maui Chamber of Commerce, and we've got the CEO out here, Pam, who is explaining all of the different benefits of being a, a Maui Chamber member and all the different events that they've got going on for the next few months. So, Pam, what do you got on your calendar these days? Oh my gosh, we have such exciting things going on on our calendar. And, and I do want to mention just one event that we just had, but it, it's part of what I call um, Small Business Recognition Season. Mm. So we just held the Maui Small Business Awards in March, and we do that with Mayor Alan Arakawa, and it's a partnership with the County Office of Economic Development and the Maui Chamber of Commerce. And it's like the Academy Awards for small businesses. <laughs> we even have a step and repeat banner that they take their picture in front of in a red carpet. and and uh, music as they come up to get the awards. It sounds like a lot of fun. It's a, it's a hoot and a half, <laughs> and it's a great way and it's to recognize the small businesses. And, and in that awards, it's not about the winners, it's about all the nominees, mm. and then of course the winners, but it's about recognizing everyone for their amazing contributions that led them to be nominated. You know, Pam, you know, I, I'm, I've been in a judging position before, yes. and sometimes it's really hard to decide who exactly. wins and another one doesn't. You know, it's so difficult. And sometimes that line is so close. Yeah, exactly. And so we really wanted to honor everybody's accomplishments. And so in that award ceremony, we get to do that. And then we're very proud on April 26, again, gearing up to Small Business Week, which is in May. We're leading off with mm -hmm. the Maui SBA Awards. It's an Excellent. annual event we do with the Jane Sawyer of the Hawaii District Office of the SBA. Yeah. And we are going to get to honor, um, I just want to share some of the companies. Garrett Marrero of Maui Brewing Company won State of Hawaii Small Business Person of the Year. Excellent. We're so thrilled with that. Mark Harmer of Harmer Radio and Electronics, Inc., uh, County of Maui Small Business Person of the Year. And then we have County of Maui Family-Owned Small Business of the Year, Ina Excavation and Grading. Then County of Maui Young Entrepreneur of the Year, Brian Bowers of Artistic Builders. And then David Daly of Maui Economic Opportunity won Maui County Small Business Advocate. And you've won a state award. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, it's rumor, hush hush. Rumor, rumor has, has it <laughs> that, that you two are being uh, recognized. But, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be recognized. It, but in full disclosure, that, what's kind of interesting is that I, I sit on the National Board of Directors for the SBA for uh, regulatory true. fairness. And so I, I've always had a very keen interest in yes. what's going on with the SBA in, in Hawaii. And, and I chair the ninth region, which is the Western United right. States. So, you know, I'm, I'm very involved in a lot of the different programs and the awards and, and whatnot. And it's, it's always very exciting to come out and watch these events. And, uh, and, and if you don't mind, I'd like to come out and maybe participate, not um, participate, but just kind of watch and observe and see what's going uh, on. You are going to come as my guest. We would love to have you come and participate in this great awards ceremony. Yeah, that'd be great. And it, it's a lot of fun. And we also use it as an opportunity to do an economic update. Uh, so Dr. Carl Bottom from UHERO, University of Hawaii Economic Research organization will be there presenting the economic update and that's important for small businesses to hear where is the economy going what are things that we should be watching and and being aware of so that's going to be awesome and that day april 26 also happens to be administrative professionals day wow so don't forget your administrative professionals and on maui make sure you come well, to the shoot, lunch. maybe they should just bring them with them that's what we want the yeah. let them let them <laughs> learn have a fun luncheon event and be educated on what outstanding small that's business right. people are doing so yeah. that's a really exciting thing that we're well, working it's, on it's interesting i've heard carl speak a, a number of times and he's always got a bunch of neat information but this year probably more than any others because there's a lot of interesting things that are <laughs> kind of playing out right now in, in washington and, uh, it's it's going to be hard to predict uh, exactly how that's going to all end up you know in the next year or two. it really is and recently we just saw a chart that's been circulated around about where they're expecting the Trump administration to make cuts programmatically in departments. And some of the departments that are key to Hawaii, including small business, yeah. um, East agriculture, West East West Center, a lot of programs are, are looking at those big programmatic areas that were once larger are starting to shrink, and it's some in very big ways. So yeah. you're right, it's a, a very important time. And even oh. with... Hopefully when it's all said and done and the dust settles, you know, not we are getting a lot of cuts in a lot of areas, but we've also got some huge increases in the Department of Defense and, and military yes. area. So I'm not sure how that's all going to balance out at that's some point. That's correct, but, too. You know, there is, there is a, a lot of turmoil, to say the least, going on, <laughs> and people are going to be 
you know, trying to figure out how this is going to impact them. One little sidebar comment. Yes. Everybody knows that the audit rates at the IRS has been dropping significantly. Well, they just cut another 20 or 30 million dollars from their budget. Wow. That's what's being proposed. So those low audit rates are going to go even lower. Lower. <laughs> Use that as you see fit. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> that's good. There are some good things that are coming out. Yeah. You're right. So the SBA Awards is going to be really exciting. It's, it's always good to, to be out there with Jane and, and see everything that's going on in, in, on Maui and all the, the award winners. Uh, but you've got some other things going on, we too. Do. We do. We have stuff going on every month. But I'm going to just highlight for time some of the bigger programs. In June, and it's actually on June 13th and 14th, um, Maui will be joining all of our neighbor island chambers, and the Chamber of Commerce of Hawaii has partnered with Macy Hirono's office, Senator Hirono's office, to present Hawaii on the Hill. Oh. This is where we take local manufacturers yeah. and food products up and showcase them up in the uh, capital. And so we have a Senate conference room that we use, food vendors from all across Hawaii there, and um, the legislators and their staff and guests get to come by the Capitol Conference Room and sample all these phenomenal products from Hawaii. So we're excited about it's, that. It's a big event. And, you know, and I have heard, because I, I, with the SBA, I go and do some things yes. in D.C. occasionally. I have heard that it is probably one of the most popular events in D.C. because it's very local flavored. It's very, very Hawaiian much. style. Yes. And it, it, they just fill the room, and there's lines waiting to get in. Huge lines. And, you know, I, apparently other, so what happened is Senator Hirono saw that other states were doing this and said, why not Hawaii? Mm -hmm. um, and so of the other states who have been doing it, maybe for many, many years before we ever jumped into the arena, we have now taken over. Everybody who comes through gets a lay. And so, it, you know, I mean, it's just the spirit of aloha is present and we have Hawaiian musicians who play. And so they get treated to fabulous Hawaiian food, beautiful music, the spirit of aloha, all the wonderful people there, and then these lays that they get to take back. They and, love it. And one of the reasons why this is so important is, for example, you've got members of the Maui Chamber that actually sell a product, have a product to sell, and they go there and they promote the product. Absolutely. And they're able to actually get some new sales leads. Absolutely. You know, it's, it's a way to really introduce the East Coast. And, but, and, and again, people from every state. Mm -hmm to Hawaii and to the beautiful things that we have to offer. And so it's very exciting for our manufacturing industry to participate in this. And, and for us, it leverages another thing that we do every year. Well, we've all long had the Made in Maui brand mm -hmm. and been promoting Made in Maui products. But we also now every year in November hold, and this year it's going to be the fourth annual Made in Maui County Festival. So again, we've got companies from Maui, Molokai, and Lanai with products locally on manufactured Maui. on Maui. And in November. And in November, first week. So you're November. inviting everybody from everybody, the East Coast? Everybody, please, everybody. Can. <laughs> we actually have buyers, wholesalers, and distributors who even come from Japan Excellent. for that festival. So this, again, dovetails that. It's always keeping that presence of buy local first, find out what Maui and Hawaii has to offer, and remember the, the phenomenal products that we're known for Absolutely. and continue to innovate on and create. And then we have um, the Maui Chamber of Commerce years back, several years back. This is the third year now. We helped out the construction industry yeah. when, during the recession, um, their association kind of fell by the wayside. They came back as a trade council of the Maui Chamber of Commerce. Very and good. so we have um, the, it's called the Construction Industry of Maui, CIM, Trade Council. And we're excited to say that this year is going to be their second annual, bringing back they, for, for over a decade, they had done a home show, and then when that organization went by the wayside, there were many years where there was no home show. So now it's the second annual CIM home show in wow. June. Very cool. And where, where are they going to be doing it? Do you know that? Yet? They're going to be doing it at War Memorial Stadium. Okay. So they're going to do that, which has traditionally been the home for the home show. And it's going to be June 16th and 17th. And again, statewide, we welcome everybody to come to this phenomenal home show, see uh, our Maui contractors and the types of uh, work that they're doing, the products they're bringing in. We have many suppliers who participate in the home show. So if you need a fence or you need a pool or you need a house painting or whatever you, whatever you need, you everything's going to be there. <laughs> You're going to be able to find it all yeah. and then some. Because uh, And what's really exciting is we're seeing more and more Maui companies bring in eco lines of products. Mm. 
So new fencing products, for example, made out of aluminum, right? So unlike the, the wood that's getting rotten over time, now the, it, there's aluminum fencing that looks like wood. So there's, uh, there's smart irrigation systems that, that uh, my other half and his company promote that allow you to do water management remotely mm -hmm. and save on water bills because the system will alert you if there's a leak or if a sprinkler had popped off. So in other words, you can divert water into different channels you can. remotely now? Remotely, yes. Wow. Yeah, and if you really just want to play, you can do a quick little uh, sprinkler irrigation <laughs> show if you just want to have a good time but popping them on at different times. I only do that when the dog comes into the <laughs> exactly. yard. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But yeah, there's new amazing technologies in the construction mm -hmm. industry. And so you're going to see a lot of that featured at the home show as well. So we encourage people to come by the home show and check that out. And then right after that, this is a new partnership for the Maui Chamber of Commerce. Um, all businesses in our community deeply care about affordable housing. Oh, yeah. And all across Hawaii, we know that we are shorted, we're short the units that we need to adequately take care of our population. In Maui County, it's just under 14,000 units that they say should have been needed between 2015 and 2025. That's a lot of, lot of homes. It's a lot of homes. And, and some of it might not be homes. Some of it might be we need to look at rentals. Mm. So what we're saying is uh, we're partnering with the County Department of Housing and Human Concerns to put on an affordable housing summit. And that will be held on Friday, June 30th. And we are going to be looking at what are the opportunities in affordable housing? Mm -hmm. We're going we're gonna to discuss the state of where things are at, but what can we do? Mm -hmm. And while certain things may have hampered in the past, we're going to showcase that things can be done, but it's how do we clear the runway so we can just take off. Well, and that's the trick. You know, yes. I think we can define what the need is, and right. we know how to get there, but we just got to make it efficient and productive and get there quicker exactly. than later. Exactly. Now, I'm afraid we have run out of time. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> we could probably do a whole show on affordable housing. <laughs> and there's that for sure. Yeah, but Pam, it's always good to have you in town and have you on the show. And I'm looking forward to our next quarterly update. Sounds like June is going to be very busy for you. Yeah. So if you get through <laughs> June, then we'll have a, another get-together maybe in uh, July or August. That would be wonderful. <laughs> I love coming here and I love sharing with Super. your audience. Thank you so much, you Rich. Well, thank you, Pam. Uh, this is Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We broadcast live every Thursday from 2 to 2.30. We highlight businesses, successful businesses, and successful individuals, and those organizations that support that. So please join us next week on Thursday at 2 o'clock. Until then, aloha.